Welcome back. So we very well know that we can extract the data from any table by writing this small query select a star from table name. Similarly, if we have to extract it from chart of accounts as well that is stored in our system as COA, we will just write the name and press F5 and you can see we can get the data from our complete table. Now the thing is to be able to prepare meaningful reports, effective reports, you will often need to compile the data from multiple tables. So for example, here in the GL, in this report, if I get, if I can get certain fields from my other table, like chart of accounts, I can prepare more meaningful reports. And that is actually very simple. All you got to do is to connect these two different tables in your query and system will bring in all the data from other table into this. How do we do that? By writing a simple join command. And how do we complete the join command? We say join. Join what? Join my COA table. But how? How would the system know that which, which row from that table will come in correspondence to which row from this table. We will have to inform that. So we would say join COA on and we will be using the account key. Since the account key is the key that has been defined in the chart of accounts and that is coming from the chart of accounts to this particular table, we will be defining this link here. So I would say join COA on GL.accountKey which basically mentions that take the account key from the GL table and then we will say this is equal to COA that is the other table dot account key. Now why we are giving the table name before the column name is because this column name is coming in both of these tables. So if your co column name is coming in both the tables you will have to mention this table name as well. So I would say that create this link between these two tables and the link will be created as the account key that is in the GL table is equal to account key that is in COA table. And with this one line of extra code, now you are able to bring in the data from the other table into your GL. All I need to do is to click on run and now you can see I have my complete general ledger and after that I have my complete chart of accounts as well. But the beautiful part is chart of accounts was one small table with just a few lines of code. But now you can see that system has represented all 27,909 rows. And for all the rows that were available in the general ledger, system has provided you their corresponding value from the chart of accounts. So for example, here if I read this line number 4, since the account key was 60, system has gone to the account key uh, 60 in the chart of accounts and they have given you that for that particular account key, the report is balance sheet, the class is asset, the subclass is asset and then if I scroll on the right, you will be able to see for the remaining lines as well. Let me show that to you again. The subclass is current assets and then inventory and then inventory. So this way for every single row in your general ledger, you now have access to all of this information. And now you would understand that how easily we can filter down our data for a report like profit or loss statement and the balance sheet or for an account like inventory or cash, we can do that just by providing one line of extra code here. So the whole thing is getting possible with this join. So join, join what? Join chart of accounts on what? On this account key level. With this, I hope that the basic introduction of join is clear to you. Let us try this again with another query. And for that, let me open a new query here. And let us say, select a star from GL from GL and now you can see we have everything here. Now let us say we want to see all the information from territory table as well for each row, I mean the country and the region. So if I can first show you the territory table itself, how that looks like, that looks like this. We have seven rows there, territory key, 
and the country and the region so going back to my general ledger i would say that this is my gl and now let us join the other table that is territory table on on what on this territory key because this is the key where we can create the link between two so i would say on gl dot territory key equals territory table dot territory key and now press f5 and you can see for all the transactions in your general ledger now you have access to your territory key uh, and the country and the region and you can now see that how easily you can filter down that data for any specific country or any specific region. With this, there is a little more discussion that we need to make on the joins. Let us do that in the next lecture. But before that, I would request you to do some practice of joining yourself as well.